Okay. Okay, so we will enter chapter three. So I hope you already saw the video for chapter two. So for the discussion. Uh, so I hope you understand so far. So we have covered chapter one and chapter two. Okay, so we have uh, read about the introduction to pneumatic, and in chapter two we have seen about chap uh, pneumatic valve. So various type of valve used in uh, pneumatic. Okay, so today we will enter another uh, part which we call as uh, pneumatic actuators. Upper to actuators. Okay, so actuators is actually the power element. Okay, so we think of the Cassini. So you have supply element, input element, processing element and control element are under the category of valve. Okay, yang kita tengok dekat chapter 2. Okay, so today we will enter this power element. Okay, so power element not uh, not necessarily have to be at, uh, cylinders. So, dia boleh ada banyak. Okay, so various type of things. Okay, so we will see. Uh, maybe I will cover around a uh, few slides. And uh, half of it I will give as a ad puzzle video. Okay, then we will have a discussion. Okay. Okay, so pneumatic actuators. So, boleh tengok dekat sini. So, some of the explanation. So, I just ringkaskan yang ni. Okay, so that uh, you will understand. So, pneumatic actuators. So, you actually converting pressure energy. Okay, so when you compress uh, air. Okay, you compress the air. Uh, you are actually creating power. Okay. Yang kita panggil as uh, pneumatic power. Okay, so pneumatic power you can use to uh, settle your application. So you you have you you have a clamping job. So you have a stamping job. Okay, so you uh, you can use pneumatic for so many applications. So what actually the actuators are doing? They are converting the put, the pressure energy into mechanical energy. Apa to mechanical energy? Ah, machinery. So, macam saya bagitahu tadi lah. Clamping, stamping. So, apa-apa yang uh, macam piston dia bergerak uh, linear. So, dalam satu arah. Okay. So, you can even have a rotary. Okay. Pusingan. So, macam motor, pneumatic motors, uh, pneumatic pump. So, ada banyak lah. Okay. So, in other words, actuators are used to perform the task of exerting the required force at the end of the stroke or used to create displacement by the movement of the piston. Okay, so any uh, another word lah. So it's actually helping you to do work. Okay, whatever work that you want to do. So the pressurized air from the compressor is supplied to the reservoir. Uh, the pressurized air from storage reservoir is supplied to pneumatic actuator to do work. So I believe, uh, I think two groups that are settled there. Uh, so you boleh nampak macam mana. So, you, kenapa you kena ada compressor? So, if you don't have compressor, apa akan jadi? Ah, So, you tak ada power lah. Ah, dia macam tak ada kari. Ah, so, you need to put the small triangle. Ah, so, you kena cari juga. Kalau tak letak tu, memang tak jalan. So, it's actually starting from your compressor. So, compressor you boleh bagi direct to your actuators melalui valve. Ataupun you simpan dalam tangki dulu. Okay, that's why we, I give you the task of time delay. So, you have an accumulator. So, the function of accumulator is to keep your compressor. Okay, so, lagi lama dia ambil masa, you can use it as a time delay. Okay, satu lagi group tu, ESO lah. Okay, so, you will uh, get familiarized. Okay. So, types of actuators. Uh, so, actuators macam I bagi tahu tadi ada banyak. Okay, various types of actuators. So, normally we will have a linear actuators yang kita panggil as piston. Okay, you boleh tengok dekat fluid stream. So, it's a moving in one direction. So, it's either to right to left and left to right. Uh, so, then you have a rotary actuators or a device that having a, a rotary motion. Macam motor. Okay, so motor, you ada dua jenis. Satu yang limited angle. So, limited angle meaning it will turn only 90 degrees. So, 90 degrees then pusing balik. 
So you have a limited angle. Then you have an unlimited angular. So meaning is a uh, keep on turning 360 degrees. Nah, macam motor lah. Okay, macam drilling. So you can use all this uh, type. Okay, so linear actuators. Ya, yeah, kita tengok dulu linear actuators. Then we will see a rotary actuators. Okay, so pneumatic cylinders are devices for converting the air pressure into linear mechanical force. So earlier we saw uh, actuators are used to uh, convert from uh, pressure to mechanical. So linear actuators is converting pressure to linear mechanical. Uh, so apa pun yang dalam satu line. So it's not moving uh, in a uh, rotary. So pneumatic cylinders are basically used for single purpose application. Ah, boleh tengok dekat sini. Application. So what type of application that you can use? Okay. Clamping. Clamping apa tu? Apa tu clamping? Mengapit. Ah, so mengapit. Ah, stamping. So you chop. Ah, so you need to use a mechanical force to chop. Ah. Okay, then transferring. So from one place to another place, uh, then you have a balancing, allocating, ejecting, so metering, tilting, bending, turning, and many other applica application. Okay, so most of these applications are linear. Okay, so type of uh, linear actuator base section. Uh, so yeah, ni quite important. Favorite question the last exam. Okay, single acting cylinder and double acting cylinder. Okay, then you can have a special arrangement. Okay, so you can have a telescopic cylinder, tandem cylinder and also rodless cylinder. Uh, yang ni adalah extra lah. So, are the types of actuators that you can use. Okay, kita tengok dulu single acting cylinder. Okay, so single acting cylinder as uh, one working pot. So maksudnya the compressed air only uh, masuk melalui satu satu uh, tempat lah. Dia tak ada dua tempat. So uh, those who did the lab yesterday, you tengok you kena bagi connection dekat dua. Two, two sides of your cylinder. So meaning, so that is a double acting cylinder. Uh, kalau you bagi, dia, dia cylinder you ada dua port. So meaning is a double acting cylinder. So single acting cylinder only will have one port. Uh, so it's only for the movement uh, forward or backward. There are the dual type, push and pull type. Then the return, return will be based on spring. Uh, there are the spring. Nanti kita tengok the next slide. Okay. So it's only the first thing of a single acting cylinder. They cuma ada satu port. Okay. So it's only have one working port. A okay, forward motion of the piston is obtained by supplying compressed air to the working port. Uh, so, boleh tengok. So, one one side only you are supplying compressed air. So, the returning motion of the piston is obtained uh, by spring. A spring is a mechanical. So, when you kalau you mampatkan spring, so it will create energy. Uh, so, kalau you lepas tu, dia, dia boleh tolong you patah balik. Okay, so you want to reduce. So reduce uh, the usage of compressor. Kenapa nak reduce? So why you want to reduce? You don't want to use uh, too, too much of compressor. Uh, kalau you still remember lah chapter 1. So the generation of compressor is very expensive. Uh, so tangki yang kecil, you nak fill pun is very expensive. Compared to you are generating electricity. Okay, so you don't want to waste. You want to use a mechanical energy. I think uh, turun turun kan. So we are used to use mechanical energy, water energy, wind energy. Uh, so uh, we those time we don't have electricity. So baru baru ni baru baru ada kan so electricity. Okay, so those time our great grandparents they uh, they use mechanical, uh, fully mechanical. So even uh, the simple mechanical system yang kita boleh tengok is your toilet flush. So it's fully mechanical inside. So no electric, <laughs> tak ada electric. Kalau electric kena renjatan. Okay. Uh, so fully, fully. Kalau you examine the thing parts inside, 
is fully mechanical. Okay. Okay. Single acting cylinders are used where force is required to exert in one in one direction. Okay. Yeah. Ni apa cerita tadi lah. So for linear clamping, feeding, sorting, locking, ejecting, and breaking. Okay. Single acting cylinder is usually available in short stroke length. Okay. So maximum dia boleh pergi. Okay. Is one of the disadvantage lah. So 80 mm berapa cm? Baru 8 cm dia boleh extend. So nanti saya saya ada bincang dengan Puan Usna. So once uh, next week you all cuti. So once you are back we will have lab 1. So waktu lab 1 kami akan bagi you try the physical physical pneumatic system. Uh, so you all dah biasa dengan uh, software. So, your seniors tak, tak dapat chance ni sebab COVID. Uh, semua buat online. Semua buat fluid sim je. So, but uh, we will divide you each group. Satu group ada, ada dalam 40 orang. So, we'll divide to uh, maybe like 20. So, 20 akan buat fluid sim dulu. Uh, then 20 akan uh, experience. So, pergi pergi test lah. Dan kita akan tukar group. Okay. So, bagi you all rasa lah. Okay. So... Okay, so uh, uh, this the application, uh, the maximum line. So, you boleh tengok nanti. Dia hanya boleh extend sikit. 80 cm. Kenapa? Kenapa hanya boleh extend 80 cm? Uh, answer dah ada dah. So, what, length of spring selalunya pendek. Uh, dia tak ada tak panjang. Sebab dia dalam single acting cylinder... So you are using spring inside uh, to help you. Uh, so and uh, because of the limitation of the length of spring, uh, so you cannot have a lot, uh, uh, very big length. Okay. So single acting cylinder exit force only in one direction. So it uh, requires half of the air volume. Can I put half? So it only requires about half of the air volume consumed by double acting cylinder. Kenapa? So you hanya perlukan separuh. Sebab so separuh lagi based on me mechanical spring. Ha, so spring tu you tak perlu bagi dia apa-apa lah. So you dah mampai dia akan extend balik to the original length. Okay. So you can see. So this is the construction of single acting cylinder. Okay, boleh tengok dengan gambar ni. So, you have a pressure pot. So, you have a pressure pot. Pressure pot maksudnya, uh, your compressor is entering here. Okay, through this arrow. Okay, so, uh, dia ada dua bagian. So, ini adalah rod. Uh, uh, sorry, piston. Uh, bagian yang penuh lah. So, this is your body. So, piston body. And you have a rod. Okay. Then we will think of the spring because ni. Okay, when the compressor enters and the force, the pneumatic force is more than the spring, uh, dia akan bergerak ke kanan. Okay, so inside this uh, part, you are the dual bagian. So one is at the left hand side of your piston, satu lagi bagian kanan. Okay, so dua dua bagian pun ada udara. Okay, when the compressor enters here, so udara yang ada dekat kawasan ni, dia akan keluar. Sebab itu, you ada exhaust. Okay, kalau you, you tengok dekat fluid stream, you ada compressed air, so uh, the triangle entering the valve. Uh, satu lagi, yang keluar. Uh, so, cylinder pun sama lah. So, when is the exhaust. Okay, then you can have an extension. Uh, so extension uh, based on this uh, when the compressor enters the cylinder will start to extend okay so extension based on compressor and return by spring kalau compressor ni keluar so automatically spring akan take over dia akan pergi balik ke tempat asal okay so they are wearing a design of uh, single acting cylinder including so dia ada banyak uh, arrangement lah so, one is a diaphragm cylinder. So, rolling diaphragm cylinder. 
and spring return single acting cylinder. Well, these are the type of cylinders, okay, types of cylinders that we have. Okay, boleh tengok sikit. Okay, so this is a diaphragm cylinder. Okay, in a diaphragm cylinder, piston is replaced with diaphragm and dekat dalam diaphragm cylinder, you ada piston. Macam tadi ada piston. Ah dekat sini you ada ah uh, diaphragm. So diaphragm ah uh, di selalunya ah uh, it will be hard rubber, plastic or metal. Okay, so it can be uh, anything. It can be anything. Okay, so the operating stem. So ini adalah stem. Okay, macam tulang belakang lah. Okay, uh, which take place. Okay, is connected. Is connected to diaphragm. Uh, yang ni lagi teruk. Hanya 60 mm. So, tadi berapa? Tadi 80. 8 cm. Yang ni, tapi kalau your application requires this kind of setup, you boleh consider. Uh, tapi selalunya, yang kita, yang special arrangement ataupun something that different, it will cost more. Uh, sebab dia uh, not manufactured a lot kan. Uh, so, but if your application requires this kind of uh, shorter stroke with uh, a bigger structure, uh, so you boleh consider diaphragm cylinder. Okay, then you have a rolling diaphragm cylinder. Okay, so yang ni dia ada advantage dia juga. Okay, because it's using a flexible diaphragm uh, and also compressor. Okay, so boleh tengok dekat sini. It can go until 800 mm. So, 800 mm berapa? 80 cm, almost 1 meter. So, kalau you ada application yang perlukan so rolling diaphragm cylinder uh, and with a longer stroke. So, you boleh tengok uh, udara masuk. Uh, so, this is a flexible diaphragm. So, compare dengan yang tadi yang macam flat kan? Uh, so, yang ni dia ada flexible. So, when it more air comes in, dia akan extend. Hmm. So, dia akan extend. So, it will occupy more space. Uh, so, tapi cuma dia besar lah. Besar sikit. Uh, sebab dia kena cover diaphragm and also the body. Uh, but, when you have a bigger bo a body of uh, piston, uh, yeah, uh, a cylinder, so you can accumulate more compressor. Okay, so that's the advantage lah. Okay. Okay, so you uh, normal single acting cylinder, you ada dua jenis. Satu push type, satu lagi pull type. Okay, so apa perbezaan dia? Saya so, boleh boleh tengok dekat sini. Perbezaan dia is uh, on the construction. Okay, so this is a normal port macam tadi. So air is entering here. You have a two uh, place. One side you have a uh, spring. And one more side uh, is empty. So, the compressor is entering and it will push and your piston will move up. Okay, for push type of uh, single acting cylinder, uh, your cylinder will go out. Dia akan keluar. Okay, kalau ada udara masuk, your piston akan keluar. Okay, and for pull type, you think uh, the arrangement is sama, eh? cuma is a uh, inverted. So, kalau udara masuk, apa akan jadi? Uh, piston akan masuk balik. So, this is opposite of this. Okay, when compressor is given to a pull type uh, single acting cylinder, your uh, cylinder rod will go in inside. Okay, yang ni famous question jugalah dalam exam. Okay, selalu juga suruh compare. So, compare push type and pull type. Okay. You boleh baca lah dekat sini. Okay, I think I already explained this. Okay, so far any question? Ada soalan? Macam belakang tu lampu tak membantu lah. I think kena buat on lah light. Eh, tak apa-apa. Apa. <laughs> next class, next class. Hari ni bagi tidur dulu. Okay, ada soalan? Ya, Kak Dudin. Yang mana? 
blok motor yang 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 ni tadi ah ah okey tapi dalam motor dia bukan pneumatik nah dia mau kepada electrical lah dalam motor tu sebab dia dia pun ada motor pun ada electrical part kan ah kan motor bike kan ah so dalam tu mostly dia powered by electric not not pneumatic Dan dalam motor i think bahagian yang gunakan udara cuma tire lah kan tire je lah so sebab yang lain tu i think sebab pneumatic is a, not for every use uh, so motor kan satu kita, dah lah berat, kita pun berat kan uh, ya yeah? brake ah uh, brake hydraulic so i brake selalunya hydraulic so dalam motor tak biasalah tengok Maybe ada lah special motor kan. Ah, ha, maybe untuk budak kecil ke. Ha, sebab our the disadvantage uh, is our weight. Ha, so weight kita so average 70 to 100 kan. Ha, so if uh, convert to newton it will go to 1000 plus. So I don't think so dia boleh withstand lah our weight. Ada soalan lain? Okay, so we'll continue. Okay, so double acting cylinder. Okay, so tadi kita tengok single acting cylinder. So now double acting cylinder. So double acting cylinder uh, is more easier to understand. Sebab dia tak ada spring. So dia nak move forward ataupun backward pakai compressor. Uh, dia ada dua port. Okay, so boleh-boleh tengok lah. So equip with two working ports. On uh, one in on piston side and the other rod side. Okay, so dia ada dua bagian nanti kita tengok uh, construct. Advantage dia because it can go up to two meters. Tadi berapa single acting cylinder maximum? 800 millimeter. So maksudnya 0.8 meter, kan? Ataupun 80 cm kan. Ha, so this one boleh pergi 2 meter. So 2 meter pan, panjang jugalah. Ha, so your application requires uh, forward uh, or backward movement. Okay, push or pull type cylinder 2 meter. Uh, so you can consider double acting cylinder. So what makes it to extend sampai 2 meter? Apa kelebihan dia? Uh, so it's using fully compressor Tak ada spring You nak cari spring yang 2 meter tu Memang payah lah nak cari uh, You kena generate sendiri So generation of a special thing Will cost more uh, So better you consider Gunakan double acting cylinder Okay so boleh tengok dekat sini uh, So diameter dia Few Few mm To 300 mm Stroke length few mm um, to 2 meters so meaning dia ada flexible range tak semestinya 2 meter dia boleh juga 1 meter so ada cylinder yang 50 meter uh, 50 uh, cm uh, so ada juga ok so uh, so boleh tengok construction dia ok so double acting cylinder so dia ada dua dua port ok so this is for, uh, for the compressor to enter uh, so ini bahagian piston ok and bahagian rod ok selalunya soalan ada juga untuk you name the the parts ok name the parts in the cylinder ok so ada ada lah slide dekat belakang ok selalunya yang ni adalah base so the body of the cylinder uh, di, bahagian yang penuh ni adalah piston yang ni adalah rod Okay, so this is your uh, two working ports. Ini adalah pressure port. Uh, so since you you ada dua operation, satu extension of the cylinder uh, or cylinder rod, and one more is retraction. Uh, so the term dia lah, so, extension stroke and retraction stroke. Okay, so dua dua port ni akan ubah uh, operasi. Okay, so for the cylinder to extend. Yang ini akan jadi working port 
ataupun pressure pot yang ni akan jadi exhaust kalau you nak dia patah balik yang ni akan jadi pressure pot yang ni akan jadi exhaust ha, so you can ada valve yang boleh ubah ok ha, so lagi satu tak ada spring so, tak ada spring ha. so mostly used in the application where larger stroke length is required so advantage dia lah ok so type of di uh, DAC DAC maksudnya uh, double acting cylinder SAC maksudnya single acting cylinder ok so dia ada few types of double acting cylinder uh, yang ni yang biasa kita tengok oh, so extension stroke and return stroke so you boleh tulis as return stroke ataupun retraction retraction maksudnya penarikan balik ok so you have this so uh, yang yang piston rod on one side so piston rod yang ni yang 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 panjang ni so if piston rod hanya ada dalam uh, di satu bahagian so it's only one side of your cylinder so you call it as a double acting cylinder piston rod on one side ok so yang ni I think you all understand lah how it works you ada juga piston rod on both side so if your require uh, your application requires uh, your piston to move in both side both side of your cylinder you boleh beli something like like this uh, kita gunakan Festo uh, brand Festo ok Fli fluid seam is uh, from Festo ok so company lain maybe gunakan software lain tapi uh, cara dia sama lah so you just like plug and place then buat wiring uh, simulate ok so we have another software we call as uh, automation studio Uh, so dululah uh, dulu your super seniors dia ada orang ada ada gunakan uh, automation studio it's more complicated sikit uh, so then uh, my my time kita gunakan fluid sim uh, fluid sim tak perlu install uh, yang automation studio you need to install and you need license uh, so license tu yang leceh lah last last beli dekat Shopee kan Uh, so tanah lah so because kita audit dah kena ada masalah so we use freeware ok so uh, piston rod on both side so you will have uh, something like this uh, both side akan ada piston so operation dia sama just uh, the additional is you, you will have uh, you have piston in the in the uh, middle and you have uh, two rods and two rods um, on both side so dia boleh bergerak lah based on how you supply your compressor so it will, your piston will move uh, right and left ok take 5 Amirul Shukri Amar Azik Alpha Hakim Alpha Hakim Udah Fami Idam Muhammad Faiq Faiz Aika Muhammad Fawaz Muhammad Fitri Muhammad Fitri Ilmi Muhammad Aikal ada kan? Muhammad Aikal ada Muhammad Aris Hassan Al-Basri Atim Uzaini Muhammad Ihsan Ikhwan Hakim 
Iman Nafis Muhammad Imran Irfan Izani Karim Sidik Khairul Amar Muhammad Muas Muhammad Najwan Muhammad Nakib Razif Muhammad Razif Dia. Muhammad Syafwan Muhammad Syafiq Muhammad Syairul Muhammad Syamil Aiman Muhammad Ulul Azmi Wafiq Azik Zami Rafiq Zulfakar Zul Kairil Hafiz Daniel Hafiz Daniel De. Nabil Aiman Nur Atika Liana Nur Shakila Nur Afika Nur Ain Kasrina Nur Ain Kasrina Ada Nur Alia Ada Nur Alia Ada Nur Azmina Nur Fatia Nur Masara Nur Liliana Putra Nur Adri Syed Mama Alif Safia Diana Ada Syarul Khairi Sofia Anis Syafirul Iqmal Syarul Nizam Tuwila Shri Waiz Fitri Wan Abdul Mustaqim Wan Nur Ashraf Zikri Aika Ari Ang Ashari Ada Ari Ashari Ada Okey Semua dah sarapan ke? Patutlah. Semua macam slow sistem. Yang apa-apa ada dalam berapa? Ada dalam 11 slide lagi untuk hari ni. Okay, so we'll continue. So 
So okay, special design industrial piston. Okay, so ada macam saya bagi tahu tadi. So we have a few special design. So sometimes company will ask you to do some application and you cannot uh, get the pistons available. So you need to specially design it. Uh, so you ask your vendor to supply you with a special design cylinder. So we have three types of special design cylinder. Okay, so you will be able to see it. Okay, so you have a telescopic cylinder. What is the telescope? Okay, yang tengok bulan, matahari semua kan? So, so it's like, it's a special kind of teropong kan? Okay, so you have a telescopic cylinder. So, you boleh bayangkan lah macam mana bentuk dia. So, you can extend. Okay, you, eh, so it's extendable. Then you have a tandem cylinder. And also you have a rodless cylinder. Apa tu rodless? Tadi rod. Okay, tanpa rod. Okay, piston tanpa rod. Okay, and you have a tandem cylinder. Okay. Okay, so we'll see. So telescopic cylinder. So quite favorite question. Okay. So nanti you all ada test one kan? Okay. Bila? I'm going to check balik. Okay. So I think uh, maybe next one. Okay, so maybe boleh keluar tajuk-tajuk ni. Tapi I, I belum set question lah. So... Maybe next week baru set. Okay. So, but uh, normally test 1 will cover up to chapter 5. So, maksudnya bagian pneumatic. Okay. So, you ada 5 chapter pneumatic, 1 chapter electro pneumatic and 4 chapters of hydraulics. Uh, so, you all tak ada test 2. Terus uh, final exam. So, final exam akan cover all the 10 chapters lah. Okay. So, you... You are you can you are can belajar you can tested uh, on the theory side macam ni lah. Uh, so apa tu tandem cylinder apa tu telescopic cylinder so zero you lukis. Uh, so and uh, one one more side you tak ada calculation subject ni tak ada calculation tapi ada design. I akan bagi satu question ataupun satu situation you need to come up with the circuit macam fluid sim. Ah, so pastikan you jangan copy dari kawan. So memang I tahu power of pen drive. Ah, so, so sekarang apa semua wireless kan. So antara dalam email lah, antara dalam WhatsApp lah. Ah, tapi at the end ah, you all ada final exam, bukan open book exam lah. Eh? Okay, so open book exam pun I tahu sebab tu I bagi soalan dalam bahasa Melayu. Ah, ramai juga yang kecam saya kan. Kau kenapa bahasa Melayu? So you copy paste dalam Google? Kan? Ha. Tak apalah. You still copy paste phone, you ada effort. Google Translate. <laughs> Tapi tak dapat translate juga dalam 30 minutes. Ha, mampu. Masih baiklah, saya bagi maka. Okay? So, tapi final exam will be different. You all biasa kan final exam? Ha, final exam dalam bilik yang sejuk. Kami akan derai you. So, three hours. Okay. So, five question. Uh, so, 20, uh, under marks. Okay. So, it will cover total of uh, 50 marks of your evaluation. Okay. So, pastikan you all tahu apa benda ni. So, kalau tak tahu, I always bagi discussion time. So, we always have, you can personal message, tanya dalam group. I always will answer. Okay, so you still ada masa lah. I think now baru minggu ketiga. So you still have around 10 more weeks. So 10 more weeks is quite long time for you to catch up. Okay, so pastikan you all tahu apa apa benda yang kita bincang dalam kelas. Okay, I also provide you with the recording. Okay, all the recording. So I, I buat recording dekat kelas pun. Try to make it like blended learning. So that... Kalau you tak sure apa yang saya ajar, you boleh always go to YouTube uh, to listen, listen back to the lecture. One is the synchronous lecture yang ada sekarang. So one more, uh, the one that I give in the Ad Puzzle. Okay, so Ad Puzzle pun ada. So dalam YouTube pun saya akan upload. Uh, so you always have a lot of source. Okay. 
so double acting cylinder telescopic cylinder okay so telescopic cylinder the other stages uh, so this akan extend all three stages together so selalunya one stage akan pull another stage sampai dia uh, extend fully okay so boleh tengok advantage dia oh dia tak ta ada lagi dalam slide ni okay so you boleh tengok so retractor position will be small tapi extended will be very long Okay, very long. So, yang ni three stages. Uh, so, yang ni adalah two stages. Okay, two stages. So, um, I akan bagi yang ni, suruh you explain macam mana dia extend ataupun retract. So, you need to tell. Okay, dalam case ni, dia ada berapa berapa phase? Tiga ke dua? Uh, ada dua. Sebab yang ni body satu, ya body kecil ni satu. So, you tengok berapa banyak body yang ada. So, ada one body, two body. Ha, yang ni three stages. So, maksudnya dia ada tiga body. Okay. So, here when the compressor enters here, where it will go first? Yang, yang mana akan extend dulu? Yang ni ke yang ni? Yang dalam. Okay, so always remember a pneumatic a function based on pressure. Okay, so kalau you now create a pressure here while you are having a empty space here, pressure you takkan strong. So you kena penuhkan dulu yang bagian ni. Then, selepas dah penuh, dia akan start pushing yang ni, rod ni. So rod ni akan keluar dulu. Rod ni keluar dulu. Selepas so, dia dah sampai dekat sini, dia tak, ada, tak boleh lagi extend. Uh, then, your compressor will start to fill all this place. Then, it will come here. Then, dia akan start push this thing to extend. Faham tak? Uh, so, you try to imagine macam mana. Memang dalam fluid sim, you tak boleh imagine lah. So, sebab, you tak nampak sangat. But, uh, you try to imagine. Tapi, ada juga some of... Uh, The, the special design cylinder instead of stage 3 keluar dulu stage 1 keluar dulu stage 1 keluar extend uh, stage 2 keluar stage 3 keluar so balik tu yang keluar dulu akan balik dulu uh, so stage 3 akan masuk dulu tarik stage 2 kemudian tarik stage 1 ada juga so it depends because this is a special design cylinder So, your vendor will design according to your need. Okay. Tapi selalunya, dia macam ni lah. Ha, sebab based on the principle of pressure. Okay, yang you belajar dekat thermofluid. Okay. Ada soalan yang ni. Quite favorite question juga. Kalau ada soalan, boleh tanya. Okay, so working principle. Yang ni, I dah explain dah. Okay, you boleh baca lah. Okay. So, I, I, I tak nak go through. Tapi, dia ada dua mode. Ex, extension mo, uh, stroke. Uh, stroke maksudnya, your piston is going out lah. Okay, stroke. And uh, retraction stroke. Okay, all the cylinders will have extension and also retraction process. Okay, kalau tak, dia tak berguna kan? Kalau dia extend je. Uh, extend tak boleh balik. Uh, so, I think uh, quite useless nanti. Okay. Uh, Okay, so, you boleh baca yang ni. Okay, so this is a tendon cylinder. Tadi, kita tengok telescopic. So, telescopic advantage dia, it can extend very long. More than 2 meter yang kita tengok tadi. Uh, so, because you can have a lot of stages. So, you nak letak 10 stage pun boleh. Uh, because you you yang bayar kan. Uh, so, you bagi tahu lah dekat vendor, I have a... Allocation 1 million for one cylinder. Uh, so, you buat lah. Okay. Yang boleh extend 10. Uh, boleh. Okay. So, then the second one is tandem cylinder. Okay. Tandem cylinder is exactly macam the normal double acting cylinder. Cuma dekat tengah-tengah ni, you have the dinding. So, you have a wall in between. And you have two piston. Okay. So, kalau you create satu wall dekat sini, 
so you automatically will have two rooms okay so each room will have its own piston okay so its own piston okay and it will have uh, two sets of port so consider macam dalam satu double acting cylinder dia ada dua double acting cylinder okay so yang lain semua sama two port one pressure port exhaust pressure exhaust uh, so piston pun ada dua uh, rod uh, dia satu lah uh, unless you have a special arrangement of uh, rod on both side boleh juga ok so use where large output force is required with the appreciable saving in bulk and weight uh, so yang ni you akan gunakan when uh, you are requiring a smaller piston with higher force uh, sebab dia ada dua piston, dua permukaan piston. So when you give the compressed air, so it will have more space. So more pressure will be applied. So when you have a more pressure, uh, so uh, you will have more force. Uh, so you pakai tandem cylinder when you want a large output force. Tapi dia ada satu disadvantage. Uh, oh, tadi ada kes lain ni. I think the next slide. Okay. So, uh, a small diameter of assembly is required. So, meaning you don't need to have a big cylinder. So, what dalam tu dia ada dua cylinder. And it can double up your force. Uh, so, tekanan ataupun uh, the force of the cylinder will be double. So, if a normal double acting cylinder can uh, produce 10 kN of force, yang ni boleh generate 20 kN of force. Tapi, size dia sama. Okay. Uh, so, baca lah, I dah explain tadi. So, pressure is applied to both pistons resulting in the increased force because of the larger area. Okay. So, force equals to? F? FA. FOA. Uh, tapi memang lah, all these are connected. Pressure connected to force and also area. So, if you increase the area, your force will be double. Okay, double up. Okay, but the only drawback of this. So, the drawback is that these cylinders must be longer than a standard cylinder of a larger flow rate than a standard cylinder to achieve the equal speed because flow must go through the bolt piston. Siapa boleh explain? Confusing kan, panjang sangat. So, I just simplify. In tandem cylinder, your force will be double. Okay, so instead of 10 uh, kilo newton, so it will be jadi 20. Tapi, speed of the piston will be reduced by half. Faham tak? Tadi, kalau double acting cylinder, dia bergerak at 10 meter per second. Yang ini, dia akan bergerak, piston ni akan bergerak at 5 meter per second. Uh, so, kalau you nak dapatkan 10 meter per second juga, so you need to make the cylinder bit longer. Uh, so, baru dia boleh bergerak at 10. So, if you want to increase the speed, uh, so you need to uh, make the cylinder longer. Uh, so, itu yang dia explain dekat sini lah. So, that's the only drawback. The speed of the piston will be reduced by half. Uh, so, you can consider this when uh, you want a larger force at the speed is not a constant uh, speed tak kisahlah berapa lama pun tak apa uh, then you can consider this this kind of arrangement ok but this is not available in the market you can especially design ok so then we enter to rodless cylinder so the third type of special cylinder ok rodless tak ada rod tadi kita ta tengok uh, setiap Double acting cylinder, dia ada piston and also a rod. Uh, so, yang ni dia tak ada rod. Okay, so rodless air cylinder. Extend outside the cylinder body. So, macam mana tu? Okay. Dia tak ada piston. 
uh, dia tak ada piston rod ok so um, instead the internal piston is connected to external carriage apa tu carriage so what is carriage carriage is something that can carry lah ok so platform for you to place your load so you can uh, your, the platform will help to you to carry stuff ok so by means of magnetic or mechanical coupling system ok so you are u- utilizing uh, mechanical or magnetic ok magnetic so there are three types of rodless linder uh, dia tulis three type tapi bagi dua ok two type lah sorry ya. ok so not my slide <laughs> okay, kalau semua betul saya saya claim it's my slide kalau, kalau ada salah tu it's not my slide okay, so it's actually not my slide lah saya guna balik ok so first type is cable cylinder the second type is cylinder with magnetically coupled side so we will see one by one ok yang ni adalah cable cylinder ok ok kalau you tengok gambar ni Can you imagine how it work? So it's using compressor steel, tapi cuma dia tak ada rod. Dia pakai kabel. Okay, so you can see you have a same piston body. You have two ports. Okay, two ports. So dalam ni ada piston. Uh, cuma tak ada rod. It, it has a kabel. So it's connected to the pulley. Uh, yang ni dia macam roda lah. So two type. Uh, then you ada load dekat atas so kalau udara masuk dekat sini yang ni dia akan bergerak ke kanan ke kiri kanan sebab dia masuk ke sini so dia, piston ni akan bergerak then this will uh, go uh, clockwise clockwise then kabel ni dia akan gerakkan load ni ke bahagian kanan ok so if you want this load to move to left You supply dekat sini lah. Uh, so, yang ni dia akan bergerak ke sini. So, yang ni akan pusing counterclockwise. Then, your load will move to the left. So, that's how a cable type of cylinder, double acting cylinder will work. Okay, faham? I tak nak explain yang ni lah. I think you all boleh baca. So, I prefer to explain using my own word. Okay, boleh? Okay. So this is a magnetically coupled. Hmm. Tengok gambar ni. Bayangkan macam mana dia berfungsi. How how it works. Anyone? Salah pun tak apa. So macam mana yang ni? Oh, baru nak baca. Okay, tak apalah kita yang ni, kita baca sikit. Okay, piston as powerful magnet. So, dalam ni, yang warna, yang macam biru ni, all these are magnets. Okay, so magnet, dia tak ada label lah. So, yang yang ni magnet, yang ni magnet, yang ni magnet. So, kalau magnet, you letak macam ni, what will happen? Ah, uh, It will stick together kan? Ah, uh, Because of the magnetic power. Okay, so you are using that, To move the carriage. Okay, to move the carriage. So, dalam ni actually piston. Uh, tapi, this is more stronger than this. Sebab, uh, because of the size lah. Uh, so, it's more powerful. So, it move to the right. This carriage pun akan move to the right. If this part move to the left, this carriage pun akan move to the left. Okay, that's how. So, no rod, no cable. So, it's fully utilizing magnetic power. Okay, magnetic power is actually very powerful. Okay, because you don't need to have a connection. So, you will avoid macam wireless juga. Uh, but it's quite powerful. Okay. So, piston as powerful magnet which bonds the piston side of the cylinder with carries outside. Which also contain powerful magnet. Okay. So, dua-dua ini pun ada powerful magnet yang ni yang control ok so each stroke length from 50mm to 
4,000 mm. Actually, boleh more lah. So, because it's not using spring. Uh, so, you nak jadikan dia 10 meter pun boleh. Okay. As long you have enough air to supply lah. Jangan air tak cukup. The supply halfway stop. Uh, so, if you have a abundance of air, compressed air, so you even can extend this to whichever length you want. Okay. So, tapi based on the notes, it can go up to 4 meters. Okay, 4,000 mm. Okay, which is the longest among all the other cylinders. Okay. So, the major advantage of this type of cylinder. Ah, favorite question. I bagi in class, siap-siap. Ah, tapi, I tak cakap I akan tanya this time. But, I just say this favorite question always uh, akan keluar. Okay, so the major advantage of this type of cylinder. So, no leakage. Okay, so no leakage. Kenapa tak ada leakage? Sebab tak ada oil, tak ada apa. So just having compressed air. Yang kalau leak, uh, kalau leak pun, maybe compressed air lah. Uh, sebab your pipe tu, uh, macam ada lubang ke apa. Uh, so apart from that, this setup, there, there is no leakage. Okay. So there is no direct contact of moving element. Uh, theref therefore the wear is less uh, dia tak ada apa-apa yang uh, macam connected so dia takkan jadi aus lah so you can use it for longer period ok so you invest, invest one time so maybe you can use for 5 years uh, because it's not having dia tak ada giseran no frictions ok so that's one another advantage so, the orientation of the carriage can be changed easily. Uh, so, you boleh angkat yang bagian atas, you boleh tukar. Sebab dia magnetic. So, you tukar, tukar uh, arah dia pun, it still will work. Okay, so it's not fixed. Okay, macam uh, cable tadi. So, you need to macam buka skru. Uh, yang ni tak ada. So, it's fully using a magnetic power. Okay, boleh. So far so good. Ada empat lagi slide. Okay, yang ni actually I cover dalam add puzzle juga. But I want to explain to you. Sebab uh, cushioning of cylinders are quite important. Favorite question juga. So apa-apa yang I cakap favorite question tu, you all tanda lah. So nanti you boleh baca. So you boleh, boleh try to learn more. On that. Okay, sebab I tak tahu soalan soalan saya ikut mood. Kalau mood baik, I bagi soalan yang okay. Uh, kalau mood dah okay. Tapi tak adalah mood, mood ni. So, it depends on that time. Sebab yang ni subject application kan. So, you can ask anything. Uh, so, that time I tiba-tiba dapat something new, I ask lah. Oh. So, you try to get uh, gather more info. Okay, on all these things. Okay, cushioning of cylinders. Um, I actually tak suka sangat wording-wording banyak ni. Tapi dia bagi macam tu, tak apalah, you, it's good for you lah, you boleh baca kan. Okay, tapi I explain je. I explain je. So, cushioning of cylinder meaning, so you are using a compressed air, so you are arranging it in a certain way, you use the compressed air to reduce the impact. Uh, sebab waktu dia retract tu, uh, so, dia, maybe dia akan pergi langgar dekat uh, base ataupun at the back of your cylinder kan. So, it can damage the cylinder. So, you are using the compressed air. So, you are channeling a part of the compressed air in order to smoothen, smoothen the cylinder movement. Okay, itu yang kita panggil as cushioning. Okay, so, I boleh tengok dekat sini. Sudden damaging impact. Uh, sebab dia udara ni dia kadang-kadang if you supply a lot of compressor dia piston tu dia akan retract dengan cepat waktu dia bergerak dengan cepat so dia akan langgar the base of the cylinder and boleh retak so you can damage so you can have a sudden damaging impacts ok so before reaching the end position tu yang I cakap lah end position uh, end position meaning uh, the last part of your movement ok 
the cushioning piston interrupt the direct flow path of the air to the outside uh, so dia ada satu bahagian lah uh, yang akan uh, dipanggil as a cushioning cushioning part so which will direct the compressed air uh, so kalau you ada tiba-tiba macam ada udara uh, so you pun akan ada rintangan kan so you will have a friction okay, with the sudden uh, yang kita panggil as angin lintang kan uh, so cross cross air so when you have a cross air so you will start to slow down uh, so if you are familiar with driving so when you drive you suddenly face a strong wind op- in the opposite direction so you cannot drive faster yeah sama lah so the same concept so you are using the same concept to slow down the impact uh, to slow down your piston to reduce the impact okay uh, okay yang lain uh, is uh, same lah okay so boleh tengok dekat sini I prefer to show pictures okay so you are the cylinder so you are the you are in the process of retraction so retraction meaning you are returning back uh, so you are the a special design dekat belakang ni uh, which will channel the compressor uh, tapi yang ni dia more common lah so you can see here okay so you can follow the numbers okay so this is your piston your, your piston uh, body okay then you can see you have a screw here you have a screw here so this is your cushioning screw okay So when uh, your piston is like this, far from this uh, housing, uh, so dia takkan ada apa lah. It will just retract as normal. Okay. So exhaust flow passes freely out of the cylinder. So meaning the air is going out freely without any interruption. Uh, so tengok dekat gambar ni. Tengok. Okay. So you follow. Just follow the number. Okay, when the piston rod is entering the housing. Okay, so plunger enters the cap. So, you have the cap dekat sini. So, two cap. So, when the plunger enters the body. Okay, enters the cap. So, you have the cap, two caps. So, you have a compressed air here. Uh, you, so, not compressed air. It's a, like air, air lah. Okay, so the remaining air. So, compressed air ada dekat sini. So, it's pushing this piston. Is moving backward, so the air in this free space, uh, dia akan melalui kawasan ni. So you have a special, special road, uh, route lah. So you have a special road. Uh, so kalau you ada udara yang tiba-tiba masuk dekat, dekat sini, so your piston will start to slow down. Kan? So uh, number number three, no flow takes a restricted part, causing the piston to decelerate. Uh, so udara yang ada dekat sini dia tak boleh escape to, through the main door dia akan ada uh, apa emergency exit kan emergency exit uh, because you create the space here ok so you create the space here so this air will enter here and your piston will start to decelerate so decelerate maksudnya kelajuan dia akan berkurangan ok then number 4 rate of deceleration can be adjusted here so you have a screw so kalau you ketatkan screw ni uh, so this opening will be smaller so meaning the the air that passes through this part will be reduced so the speed of the piston akan increase uh, so akan, maybe it can cause a damage damaging effect lah ok so then number 5 check valve allow free flow of the piston to extend uh, so kalau you nak dia extend Udara kena masuk balik dari sini. Uh, so, dia akan melalui yang ni. Because this is a one-way flow control valve. So, dia akan push this ball uh, upward and the air will enter and the cylinder will extend. Okay, so air cushioning. Uh, uh, kita selalunya panggil cushioning of cylinder. Uh, cylinder cushioning. Ataupun air cushioning. Semua tu benda yang sama. Okay. Yang keyword dia adalah cushioning lah. Uh, so, if you see this thing. So meaning you are trying to create a mechanism to reduce the sudden impact. Okay, during the retraction process. 
Okay, depending on uh, dia which type of cylinder lah. Kalau dia push type, uh, tapi dalam double acting cylinder dia tak ada push or pull type. Dia cuma untuk single acting cylinder. Okay. So, comparison between single acting cylinder and double acting cylinder. Okay, so boleh tengok comparison. Ah, Yang ni pun favorite. Okay, favorite compare. Compare between, so kadang-kadang ada soalan tiga markah, ada empat markah, kadang-kadang dua markah. Tapi still markah juga kan. So, so you try to score all this uh, simple, simple stuff. Okay, selalunya soalan will be compare uh, single acting cylinder and double acting cylinder. So, you can give uh, this kind of points. Okay, one point, maybe one mark. So, you produce like, let's say it's a four, four marks question, you produce four points. Point there, comparison je, kan? Any one pot, two pot. No as spring, no spring. Actually, point there satu je, kan? Uh, so, you can compare. So, for single acting cylinder, so you only have one pot and it has a spring. Okay, and for double acting cylinder, it's, uh, it has two pot and no spring. So, exit work in one direction. So, about this, cuma ada satu working port. So, the direction will be only one way. Okay, push type or pull type. And uh, for double acting cylinder, you have two working port. So, you can control in two direction. Okay, forward and backward. Ataupun retraction. Okay, number four. It uses compressed air in the forward stroke while the return stroke is achieved by spring. Actually, benda yang sama je. Uh, so, yang, yang ni, okay, return is based on spring, only forward by compressed air. Double acting cylinder, it use compressed air for both side. Okay. Okay, so yang ni semua tengok dekat video nanti. Add puzzle. Okay, actually cushioning pun ada. I explain dalam tu. Okay, so any question? Baru 9.20. Saya suka subjek ni sebab dia pendek-pendek. And easy to explain. Compared to thermo. Tapi you you will be the last batch I'm teaching pneumatic. Ah, I think semalam ada bagi tahu juga kawan-kawan you. Ah, so lepas ni I tak ajar pneumatic. I ajar thermo and basic engineering science. Sebab ramai yang fail. Betul ke? So ramai fail di realita saya. Suruh bagi markah. The more kepada explanation kan so Because it's all, all physic Okay so any question Before we end our lecture So you all boleh pergi sarapan Okay any question Today's lecture or previous lecture Yeah Any type of air so, It's normally the compressor Will just gather the air around you Around you then it will bring it to the chamber and it will compress. So it's basically you, you can just produce any air as long as it's compressible uh, and uh, you can produce a force. Uh, so di tak kisahlah. Sebab pneumatic is uh, you have air abundantly around you. So you just tangkap sikit, compress, guna. Kan? Macam tu. Heat. Heat normally will be from the friction. So, that's why we try to reduce friction. So, if you have friction, it can generate heat. So, naturally, pneumatic system will not generate heat. Okay, unless maybe if you are using electro-pneumatic, so maybe from the electrical, electrical part, maybe the wire getting heat up, um, then it can gen be generated. Or from the surrounding. Kalau surrounding panas. Uh, so, maybe it can generate heat. So, but from the pneumatic system itself, it will not generate heat. Okay. Tak ada soalan lagi? Okay, I think ada seorang tadi. Tak ada. Zulfaka ada? Ada.
Muaimin bila nak balik? Oh, terus cuti lah. Okey, okey. Tak apa. So, you all balik, Pak? Balik? Oh, tu mau tunggu nak balik. Okey. So, I think uh, tomorrow kita ada satu lagi lab. So, one more group. So, I think group 2. Group 2 kot. Okay, so I will see group 2 tomorrow. So, the rest, okay, have a happy holidays. Balik tu ada exam. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, can you off?